last time on Trails in the Sky, first chapter, we had a running with Agate, the heavy blade uh, racer over in the Ruan checkpoint. We fought off some wolves, had a good night's sleep, and then headed on down towards Ruan, stopping in at the Varen Lighthouse, where we've been tasked with clearing it out by an old man. Holy crap, that hurt. Okay, you are weak to nothing. I may have uh, screwed myself over here. Nice, petrify work. Well, you're gonna have to keep healing yourself up. That not only petrifies but does a decent bit of damage too, actually. Yeah, you're just on healing duty. That's one down. Uh, let's do this. Followed by this. That wasn't enough. Crap. Okay. There we go. If, um, I am not in range, crap. Okay. Let's move out. They give a decent amount of XP though. Yep. Uh. Cool. We're probably gonna need to worry about EP as well, but. That's neither here nor there. We actually got a preemptive out of that. Nice. Emmett didn't catch by that time. Let's just get rid of this one. It did not get rid of it. Shit. Petrify. Items have some healing. Yeah, of course so. So once you're petrified, single hit is enough to just take it out. Good to know. We're getting some wind sepper. Uh, you know what? Yep. So we're gonna need all the healing we can get as we climb this tower. Oh, no enemies on that one. Okay. Not 
gonna waste it on that one. Didn't petrify. Great. Okay, let's get some damage on this one. I'm assuming we can't just leave these guys out, right? Yeah, yeah, keep doing that. I'll keep taking the XP. You'll need a couple more fights before I get a free heal out of it. Gonna use a lot of those to heal up now, considering. No, no, no. Well, that works. One down. Damn it, didn't petrify. Use that, get the S craft on the other one. Wait, what? What the hell just happened there? <laughs> wow, I just wiped. Well, here we go again. Still not enough. Damn it. Okay, so Petrify Breath does use 30 points, which is why I ran out so quickly. Okay. Let's just use Stone Hammer instead. One more down. Damn it, it's still alive. Okay, well, second try, we got it. Ah, oh boy. So close to a level up. Defeated all the monsters. Well, that works. I can't sleep in the bed, can I? Damn it. Oh well. At least we'll hopefully get a decent view. Danger. Unauthorized personnel prohibited. Damn it. Not as much of a view as I was hoping. back you better be damn grateful i died multiple times how's a monster hmm 
back to the monster hunting goat. Hey, sit, uh, hey, stick a fork in there, old man, because this job is done. The monsters have all been taken care of. Everything should be back to normal in there now. Oh my, that's splendid news. Finally, I can put my mind at ease. Thank you for all your hard work. And don't forget, as you flex your brace of muscles in the future, flex hardest, the strongest muscle of them all, the caring muscle. We uh, certainly will try to do that. You take care as well, you old fossil. If you'll excuse us. Hey, just what do you think you're doing? Aren't you all forgetting something? Huh? Uh, I don't think so. What about, is there anything else we can do for you before we go, my good man? Uh, I'm not hearing it. Observe my mouth and mimic its movements. Is there anything else we can do? To get the picture, it's proper etiquette. Nay, proper caring to check with your client to ensure that there are no other issues. That dashing young lad had helped me before, so then you had to leave a good impression. You all could have learned a thing or two from him. Hard to believe you're in the same organization that he was. Like comparing poms to a dragon. You're really trying my patience, you old windbag. If that dashing young man really was Idios' gift to brace us, then why didn't you give us a few pointers, hmm? Tell us more about this man crush of yours so we can get better ourselves in this image. Get off your backs. Get off our backs. Oh, he's just a dapper fellow who came to lend me a hand seven or eight years ago. But what a man he was. Far different from you, girl, that's for sure. He was a real bracer, not some cheap imitation. In fact, the only way in which I could possibly compare the two of you would be hair colour, I suppose. The same sort of reddish brown. Exact same, in fact. Hmm, and looking closer, I'd say the colour of your eyes is about the same, too. Reddish brown hair and the same colour eyes as Estelle. Wait, are you talking about... I was really hoping you'd be just like him when you said you're racist. I guess that was just wishful thinking. I doubt anyone could be as as amazing as that man was. I hope to try, though. Be diligent and maybe you'll be a real bracer one day yourself. And even if you're not dashing, you did help me out. And I am truly grateful. Always remember to care for your clients and you'll do fine. Cassie's really do be getting all over, doesn't he? So what do you think? Was he talking about... Yeah, I couldn't help but read into it myself. Seven or eight years ago would be right on the money. So he was talking about our dad then, right? I think so. If so though, then of course we're not going to mess her up. Yeah, seriously. So I guess we are braces like him now, so it's kind of flattering in a way to be compared to him at all. If we want to make names for ourselves like him though, we really have to take it one step at a time. Catch up bit by bit, day by day. But even then, I think he's a little out of our league. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. I can only believe that one day we'll totally outclass him. I mean, we pretty much rule. Anyway, we'd best get going. There's no time to be horsing around. If we're going to become world-class racers, we've got to get moving. You're absolutely right. Let's hit the road and see where it takes us. Lighthouse monsters completed. Uh, we're going to do that. Not much, but barely nothing, and I should get my EP back with just a couple of monster kills, so. Like this. The healing was basically just to make sure that I didn't die before getting the level up. There we go, they're both level 16, Joshua learnt Haunt, and they got all their EP back, very nice. Menoria Village. Another quaint little village town on the way to Ruran City. Uh, civilization at last. 
And with all these pretty white, white flowers blooming everywhere too. Yes, Magnolia, you were told about this. What did you say this place was called? Menoria, the little seaside village of an inn. And the white flowers are a type of hibiscus. It's so pretty! The ocean and the flowers together, it smells great around here. Hmm. It also makes me kind of hungry. <laughs> Only you can work up an appetite from smelling flowers. Just make sure you eat the food and not the flowers. Hey, I'm a growing girl. It's almost noon anyway, so what would you say to lunch? Fine by me, but do we have any provisions? Um, why don't we get something local? Such a nice, quiet little town. I mean, we just got to Rua. That's true. Okay, let's go check out the inn and tap. Ah, eh, we will, but, you know, check everything else first. Zack was fired from his job in Ruan, so he came back here. I have to wonder if he ever puts any thought into his future. His big sister is always worried about him. I used to work at the harbour in Ruan, but I came back to the village of my birth. I'll probably wind up settling down right where I was born and raised. The only downside is my, that my oh-so-delightful sister is here. What's this little town look like? It really is quite small, ain't it? No hidden chests or anything? Oh, the Elder's House. Oh, are you travellers? If you're looking for a place to eat, I'd suggest you try the White Magnolia. I've got food and you got a fi and you get a fair amount for your money. It's worth checking out. Ah, more travellers, welcome to Menoria. At one time, this village was quite renowned for its inn. But with the advent of airships, we've seen far less traffic. Nowadays, we survive only because of the famous flowers. That's a little sad. Uh, village storehouse? I assume. That's the white magnolia. These flowers you see everywhere? They're a breed called magnolia. Aren't they positively gorgeous? What have you got for me? Air claws? Sure, I will grab a few extras. Oh, I don't have any azalea fruits. And I got plenty of fresh eggs. General goods. You know what? Let's stock up on a whole bunch of them because I feel like we're probably going to need them. Mm. The rest of these, I'm not so sure we'll need them. I know I'm spending a bunch of money right now, but we'll get more from jobs and I could do with it right now. Uh, let's get another one so we can make two cheese risottos. Milled flour, we've got plenty of. Salted anchovy, not really my cup of tea, but. We need more steaks. Got enough olive oil. Grab some dragon beans, whatever those are gonna be. And we're good. My granddaughter Sadie really is the sweetest girl. Her parents left to find work, but Sadie stays here to be with me. I'm truly grateful. That's sweet. We're all woodsmen, hikers, and mountain nuts here. We came to Magnolia so we could do some climbing in the Crone Mountains. 
We're self-proclaimed mountaineers. I know Minoria is the best place to set up for a trek up the Chrome Mountains. We're just trying to get everything we need to make the climb safely. Oh, I'll take some die-hard Bella. Sure. Uh, yep. Cool. Hot herb tea and vegetable sandwich, which I have the recipe for, so I don't need that. Cool. Welcome to the White Magnolia. I don't recall seeing you before. Are you here on vacation? No, we're just passing through on our way to Ruan. We came from Bows by way of the Chrome Pass. You're joking. Wow, I never thought I'd meet another person brave enough to handle that place in this day and age. You're into hiking, I assume. No, not especially. It sure works up an appetite, though. Is there anything you'd particularly recommend? Oh yes, I was just trying the box lunch. What's that? The windmill at the edge of town is a platform with a great view. Every day at lunch, lots of people buy them and take them there to eat. Oh, that might be nice. From what you're saying, it sounds like something I'd like. Well, why don't we try it? What kind of box lunches are there? Well, there's a smoked ham sandwich and the seafood pail. Either would be good in my opinion. Hmm, I think I'll try the sandwich. I'm with you there, Estelle. Then I'll have the seafood pail. Thank you, that'll be 120 mirror. Special box lunch. I'm flushing some herb tea at no charge. It's my specialty. Thanks! Wanna go over to the viewing platform? Sure! Yeah, not right away. Welcome, welcome! Here for some food, we'd be happy to have you. I make it all myself with the help of my husband, and I'm quite confident you'll love every bite. I'm just here to explore at the moment. This particular one has a balcony and the other one does not. I guess you have to pay more for the balcony. Okay. I've already checked here. He's not in the general store either. Damn, where could he be? Get a move on, Joshua. Whoa, Estelle, watch where you're going, or... Ow! I'm sorry, are you okay? I wasn't paying attention to where I was going, and... No, no, it's alright. Pardon me, I confess my attention was elsewhere as well. Oh, okay. So I guess we're even. I swear, Estelle, what are you doing? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm sorry if she disturbed you. You're not hurt, I hope. No, I'm fine. I was looking for someone and I wasn't watching where I was going. Oh, who are you looking for? A little boy, about ten years old, wearing a cap. I don't suppose you've seen him by any chance. A boy in a cap? You see anything like anyone like that, Joshua? Not that I can recall, no. You see, where could he be? If you'll excuse me, sorry to have caused any trouble. Joshua? Hello? Calling Joshua? Come in, Joshua. Oh, uh, what is it? Gee, I wonder. Oh, I get it. I see what's going on. What half-baked idea are you cooking up this time? Now, now. No need to be shy about it. I see the way she set your heart aflutter. Absolutely not. I just think I've met her before a long time ago. I was just surprised. Hmm. Met her before, you say? Let's pick up lines, go. I'll give it 30 points. Moving on. Don't you recognize her uniform? Now that you mention it, isn't it the same outfit that Josette uses as a disguise? Yep, the Janus Royal Academy uniform. Since we're in Ruan, it's not all that surprising to see someone wearing one. Ah, so that's the real thing then? You seem polite and smart and refined. Probably different from that scruffy crude pretender in other words. What are you talking about? Josette had you completely fooled from the get-go. 
Oh, that's right. You teased me about it then, too. Well, if you get taken for a fool again, don't expect me to help you. Uh, instead of picking on me, why not work on becoming a better judge of character? Alright, alright. Fine, I won't pick on you anymore. Good. Now why don't we go have lunch up on the viewing platform? Fine. We're going to do that next time on Trails in the Sky, first chapter. See you then.